Hello and welcome to another GCN training session. This time you're joined by myself, Connor. And today we are doing some lead out drills. Um, so I'm going to explain all that to you a little bit later. It's a fun session though. Um, one of my favourites actually when I used to be training uh, for races myself. Um, and to start us off, we've got quite a good warm up for this one. So about six minutes of warm up, generally just ramping the effort up every two minutes. So stay tuned, I'll tell you when to notch the pace up a little bit, but do make sure you're well hydrated, you've got some bottles on hand for this session because it is a long one, it's 50 minutes long, and we'll be going through four blocks of effort. So that will also increase in time. So we'll start off with a four minute effort, then we're going to a seven minute effort, an eight and a half minute effort, and then a nine minute effort, with three minutes rest in between each. Now. The session's called lead out drills. This is actually one of my favorite ones when I used to be at a training camp and we'd be kind of going through the sprint routine and getting used to which rider would be in a certain order in the bunch and when coming towards the finish. So the first effort, the first four minute effort will be kind of, you'll be pretending to be in this lead out train. So if you're working for Mark Cavendish or the like, this is when you pretend you're kind of in that team and you're delivering the rider to the line, and then the very last effort, you'll actually be the team sprinter. So you go through the whole lead out train, then do your sprint right at the end. So this first four minute effort that we're ramping up to, that'll be kind of the first man off. He'll be in the wind for four minutes in a really solid effort, and then we'll gradually ramp through so that the next effort, you do the four minute effort, plus you're the second man as well. So you have to go a little bit longer, closer to the finish, so on and so on to get to your sprint right at the end. And we're going to be in the red. Just ramp up the effort a little bit more now. Can I be the last man? Yeah, Manny. Manny's <laughs> going to be our last man. We do we have four guests. We have Manny, Abby, Emily, and Morgan at the back there. So we're all going to be sprinters. <laughs> it's a good one, this. So this current warm up should be around three out of 10. Perceived effort. It's just starting to up the pace a bit, get the heart going. We're going to have a nice, easy minute after this warm-up just to relax before we really get into the session properly. And this is a great session as well when you're at a training camp with a team and you'd be actually doing this on the road. You have two sets of teams and you'd be doing it side by side. And you'd kind of do this a number of times just to find out who slotted into the lead out train in which position. So, good one to work the legs and also a good one tactically. Figure out where you would slot in best as we go through these efforts as well. Do you prefer to do that sprint at the end or you may be better suited to the four minute effort? Don't worry if this all sounds a little complicated as well because I'll talk you through it as we go along. By the end of the 50 minutes, you're going to feel the legs on this one, okay? Woo. I'm excited. Are you ready for this, Manny? <laughs> Have you ever done a sprint lead up before? Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. done a few uh, in the crit scene over here in London. Well, it's a perfect one actually to work on that. <laughs> um, I think people think the sprinting is about doing it fresh, but it's also about doing it when you're really fatigued right at the end of the race. Mm. And it's having that little bit of extra, extra energy to get over the line. Four seconds, we're going to just up the pace a little bit more in this warm up. I'm getting into the big ring now. Two minutes now at four out of ten perceived effort. Round 80 RPM or whatever you're comfortable with. This is a good opportunity now in the warm up just to push on a bit, start to feel yourself get out of breath, start to struggle a little bit to hold a conversation. And then we've got two minutes, we're really up it. That's our warm up done. If you're starting to feel a bit stiff now or a little bit of fatigue, that's, a, that's okay. Sometimes you can have heavy legs when you get going. That's what a warm up's all about. Flushing the legs out, getting them ready for it really matters. And the business end of this session, which is where the work's going to count. It's where you're going to get the bang for your buck. I feel I'm going to punch her. 
You've got to get yourself riled up for these sessions if you're going to go really deep. The last nine minutes on this will be tough. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. So focus the mind as well. Get yourself G'd up. Do what you need to do. I like to listen to heavy metal. Oh. Depending on the mood, sometimes I'll go to a bit of dance music. Name an artist. It depends if the neighbours are in or not as well. <laughs> That's what it's about too. Name the artist. Or... Oh, a song, just give us one. <laughs> I couldn't actually name a song, to be honest. I just listened to playlists. Metallica? <laughs> Definitely Metallica. I went for an offspring phase as well. Okay. <laughs> right, 10 seconds to go. Then we're going to ramp the warm-up up one last time. Little two-minute effort, pushing on. Five out of 10 on the effort level. Just feel those legs start to burn a bit. Get out of the saddle if you want. Mix up the position on the hoods, on the drops. Open your back up. Open the lungs up. You're going to need them later on in this session. Get yourself comfortable. Recommended to do this at around 80 RPM, but drop the cadence if you want for a little bit. Just start to activate those muscles. Spin the legs a bit more too. This is all about preparation. I remember doing this when we'd be training out in Spain or at a camp and this would be part of kind of a four hour ride. You'd ride out to a really quiet area. Literally we'd do this session and then you'd ride home always, always turn into a hard day. Just the competitiveness of it, I think really allows you to push deeper. So get competitive with yourself when you do this one and really try to get the most out of you, out of yourself on each interval. All right, 35 seconds to go on this little push in the warm up, last little tough effort. And then we're gonna have one minute, totally easy and just let that warm up sink into the legs. 20 seconds to go. How are we doing, Manny? I'm already starting to think about that song. <laughs> <laughs> Myself yeah, and Manny are going to be having playlist uh, discussions after this. Right, five seconds to go. And then one minute easy. Okay, knock it right down. Shake the legs out. Easy spinning, get some water in. Recommend plenty of sips, maybe having a spare bottle on hand for this session. Also, try and get some salt or some sugars into your water too because you will be sweating. And uh, that sodium content will drop, so keep on top of that. But we are gonna get straight into it now. Four minute effort, you are the first man in the lead out train, okay? So you have three guys behind you coming into the finish of a race and you need to deliver them to the line. You're battling with other teams, trying to hold your position. This is like a real tough effort actually, it's an eight out of 10. So you're always on it, you can't really relax. Once the four minutes done though, that's it. It's your teammate's job to get to the line. So here we go. Right, let's do it, we're into it, four minutes. Your sprinter is shouting at you down the line here. Up, He's up, telling up, you up, to get to the front. Up, 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 up. Maximum pressure, maximum adrenaline. You can't let other teams take the front here. You're hugging the side of the road. You're avoiding all the obstacles. And the pressure is on. Picture yourself in the biggest race in the world. It's all come down to this. The training, the sacrifice. This is a team victory, don't let up. Come on, eight out of 10. Push on now. 100 RPM, spinning the legs. Always helps to spin the legs, especially if the train is really changeable. It allows you a bit of breathing room, a bit of space to get over those little climbs, 
and not lose any rhythm, not have to change gear. As you can tell, conversation level is tough. But imagine you're in a race, you still have to communicate with your teammates, you still have to be on it and concentrate on the road. This is your time to shine, this is your job, your four minutes. Potentially coming into the last three kilometers of a race, last couple of miles. Speed is flat out. Try not to get out of the saddle too much. Try to hold your position, hold your form, and go all the way through to the end of the four minutes. Pace it right. Come up to two minutes to go. Two minutes to go. You'll be starting to feel it now. You'll be starting to burn, it'll be starting to hurt. Keep on pushing. Pretend you've got a minute left. Pretend it's not as long as it is. And then when you get to that minute, it's just another minute more. Break it down. How are we doing over there, team? How are our sprinters? Getting ready here for the next effort. Yeah. Ready, ready for the sprint. One minute 20 to go now, so keep it, keep it lit until the line now. Until the end of this, this section. I see Emily sneaking up on me. <laughs> That's it though, you're battling with other teams, your handlebars are banging. It's getting competitive. You all right there, Morgan? Very good. <laughs> One minute to go. <laughs> Hang in there, Morgan. Heart rate will be through the roof now. You're starting to feel the fatigue from the whole effort. 45 seconds. Last push. Raise it if you can. Get back on top of the gear. Raise it. 30 seconds and then you're all done. You have three minutes to recover. Really easy ride in three minutes. Finish this one off first. 20 seconds. Head down. 15 to go. Last 10 seconds. Come on. Up, up, up. Don't go lazy on me. Three. Two, one, and you're done. The rest of the lead out train whizzes by. Woo. And you can roll into the finish. Come on, Morgan. <laughs> How are we doing, Morgan? Carry on. <laughs> How are we doing, team? Oh, that was brutal. Team effort. Woo. So we've got three minutes to recover now. Really knock it down, spin the legs. I think when you're watching uh, the Tour de France sprints, you don't realise that the people behind Cav and Morkov, you don't realise what they're doing, do you? And, uh, and how hard that role is, and just to get their sprinters up in the right place. Yeah, it's a long effort, and in a race, you're trying to hang on as long as you can, because the longer you hang on, the less distance the guys behind you have to cover. So it's just a, it's a different sort of effort to a sprint, but it's just as painful. But... In this next effort now, so we're going to do that four minutes again, but at a little bit of a less lower intensity. So it's as if you're in the wheel of your teammate. You're sheltering a bit more. You're not going quite as deep because your teammate is breaking the wind for you. Then when they peel off after the four minutes, then we have a three-minute effort to go. So we're getting closer to the finish, but the pace is getting faster. So the effort is getting a little bit more intense. We won't be able to maintain it for quite as long. So in total, we have a seven minute effort coming up. This is, this is a hurt of this one. I think this is probably the harder one of the, all the four because it is very intense. It is still quite a long duration. And depending on your form, you may start to struggle at the end of that the three minutes. But just do your best, set yourself to maximum, give it all you've got. One minute until we start that now. Get your last little drink of fluids in. 
and start thinking about what's to come. I'm going to pretend that I'm Bradley Wiggins for this. That's good. Embrace your inner Bradley. Yeah. It's a good motto to live by. Get you through most situations in life. <laughs> come on, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All right, get out of the saddle for a bit. We've got 30 seconds to go. Loosen yourself up because you're going to be in, a, in that aerodynamic position for a while now on the drops if you can. Woo. And it's getting hot. Right, 15 seconds to go. Then we've got four minutes at six out of 10 intensities. So you're pushing on, but you're not quite burning. You're able to just about stay aerobic, okay? Right, five seconds. Up into the big ring. Two, one, and we're into it. 80 RPM if you can, but really look for anywhere between 80, 90. If you're someone that likes to spin the gear, go up to 100. Whatever's comfortable for you really here. It's more about the effort level. You don't want to relax too much. It's a four minute effort. And if you're in a race, for example, you'd be following your teammates wheel here, you'd be concentrating. You're trying to get as much advantage from that windbreaker in front of you that you can. And that four minutes we did was tough. The three minutes coming up is going to be harder. Don't be under any illusions. But that's what makes this session so, so effective. How are we doing over there, team? Pacing the effort. Yeah, it's a little bit there. less than the last one. I'm just imagining that wheel in front of me of the person who's going as hard as I was in that last effort and then ready to take over in a few minutes. That's it. I remember doing this in racing and the guy, the rider would be in front of you and they'd want to peel off early and you'd have to tell them to stay there. Oh. <laughs> Got like a sentence of doom. Get back. Get over here. <laughs> That's where the shouting starts and the instructions start and the adrenaline gets raised. Just visualise you're in that environment to get the more out of yourself, get the adrenaline flowing. If you're back at home, in your garage doing this session or you just nipped on the bike after work. That's what it's all about. Two minutes to go now. Six out of ten still on the effort level. This is also a great session to do when you get out on the road as well. So if you have a few mates, you find some quiet roads, you can recreate this one. Find a finish point, maybe three kilometers in length, find a finish line and take it in turns delivering your mates as a sprinter. Such a kind of incredible way to get yourself and really push yourself hard and not actually know you're doing it just because you're having so much fun. One minute 20 now, come on. Keep the concentration, keep pushing on the gears, on those pedals. We have a minute to go now, and then we have three minutes, eight out of ten. As soon as that person peels off in front of you, as soon as that next effort starts, straight into it, hit it, boom. Forty-five seconds to go. Pace is starting to ramp. If you're following along at home. Maybe you don't have a power meter or you don't have any metrics to track. I want you to try and knock it up one or two gears when this next effort starts. Straight away, as soon as it starts, boom, boom, harder gear. See if you can stay with me for three minutes. Okay, 20 seconds to go. A few last deep breaths of precious oxygen. And then you're going to be deprived for a little bit. 
Be confident. Three seconds to go. Two, one. Straight into it. Up the pace. Up, up, up. Start in 100 RPM if you can. Now attack it. Three minute effort though, so don't burn your bridges too early. Settle into it. Get the heart rate under control. Concentrate on your cadence. Be smooth. It's going to hurt because you've already done that four minutes. They need to push through it. It will end. This isn't going to last into infinity. Always remind yourself that. Everything in life comes to an end. Keep pushing. If you can, stick to 100 reps per minute. If you can't, try and keep it above 85. Don't let it drop. I'm doing about 400, 420 watts right now. So this is tough, it's on the limit. You're on the limit of just about cracking. Oh. And it hurts. Minute and a half to go. Three minutes recovery. Heart rate's at 175. Right on max now. This is it. Your last one minute. Forget about the rest. Forget about everything else. Just get through this last minute. Your body will be telling you to stop, but ignore it. Ignore those messages. You can go deeper than you think you can. A minute to go. Your mind can push you so much harder than you think you can. 45 to go. Last one, then we have some recovery. Come on. Keep it up. Up, 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 up. Your sprinter behind you is getting nervous now. He knows you're tiring. Last little dig. For victory. Fifteen seconds to go. Give it what you have left to the end. Five, three, two, one, and stop. Easy riding. Get your breath back. Three minutes recovery. Woo. How are we doing, team? Keep drinking. Quick towel of the sweat if you can. Really, really easy now. Proper recovery. Spinning the legs. No pressure at all on the pedals. Just taking it easy. Well done. Halfway through it now. Halfway through the business end as well. So if you got to this point, you're doing really well. Deep breaths. Fluids. Only halfway through. <laughs> oh, don't think about it, Manny. Halfway, that's a uh, glass half full. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the games. <laughs> that's it. This is a tough session because you're doing these endurance efforts, these aerobic efforts, and at the end, you are starting to go anaerobic. So you're layers on layers on layers of intensity. It just gets you more than doing it when you're fresh. Woo. How are we doing back there? Yeah, all good here, all good here. Did you ever do a session like this when you were racing yourself? Yeah, I think me and Abby, we must have done something like this together out in Mallorca, haven't we? Like training for um, our races out in Belgium and Holland and places like that. So yeah. um, me and Abby used to be part of the same team, so along with Manon as well. Uh, we've definitely probably already done these sessions together at some point, but probably about five or six years ago. <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah. Was Manon always the sprinter? 
Um, I think between the three of us, we were the strongest sprinters, so we used to rotate it a bit depending on how our legs felt. Um, okay. Being track riders, we were all more top end anyway, so. Yeah. At Team GCN, Manon is always the sprinter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always the lead out person. I can't sprint to save myself. But that's what these sessions are about. They're about improving your weaknesses too. Are you the Bradley Wiggins? Well, I, I pretend to be. <laughs> and uh, if your batteries are running low, give yourself a bit of a top up. because we have 20 seconds to go now until the next effort starts. And then we are on, into it again. Third set. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're into it. Settle into that pace again for the four minutes. Same pace as before, so you're not killing yourself. But at the same time, it is a tough effort. You're in the wheels, you're getting your shelter, but the pace is fast and you're pushing on. Then we're going to repeat that three minute effort. Again, a little bit lower on the intensity, but it is going to ramp up. This time, when we finish the three minutes, we have one and a half minutes all out. Just all out. Don't even think. As soon as that minute and a half starts, you just hit it straight away and just try and hold it. Doesn't matter if you dip off at the end, just go from the gun and empty yourself. Because that minute and a half, you are the lead-out man, you're the last person, or lead-out woman, last person to deliver your sprinter to the line. So they're gonna come round you probably halfway through or maybe towards the end of that effort, but you're just head down, give it all you've got. And coming at the end of seven minutes, can be tough. For now, stay calm, focus on your rhythm, focus on your cadence, around 80, 90 RPM, keep your breathing under control. Start thinking about what music you might want to play if you're listening to music at home. Metallica, if that does it for you, or Carly Rae Jepsen. Whatever floats your boat. Two minutes to go, coming up to two minutes to go. Manny, how are we getting on here? Good, good. I'm really just trying to settle into the rhythm. I found the last um, set quite difficult. Yeah. It's a shock to the system. It's like just... I said, I think that last set for me is a harder one. Because mm. three minutes at a max effort really is, that is VO2 max. That's a tough effort. This set, we can knock it back a bit on that three minutes in light of the minute and a half. Hang in there though, mate. I think the trick is to pace, pace yourself, isn't it? Yeah. And, and then leave it all out in the end. Yeah, you want to be thinking about that last effort and making sure you've got something left. Keep drinking if you can. I've actually got sports drink in the water, I'm not drinking pure water. I've kind of gone half the dosage on a normal isotonic sports drink, mix it in there. If you're sweating a lot, if you're riding in a hot room, it really helps replace that lost sodium. Stops you getting that kind of groggy feeling after a really hard session on the indoor trainer. Stops you getting dehydrated. So important, do not forget about that. 45 seconds to go, 40 seconds to go, sorry now. And then we're into that three minutes. Not going at all out, remember. Just knocking up the gear one time, picking up the perceived effort. Looking for about a seven out of 10 effort level in this next three minute block. It's 20 seconds to go. Right, 10 seconds to go. Then I want everyone to knock up the gear. One harder gear. Five, 
four, three, two, one. And we're into the three minutes. Knock it up a bit, pick up the pace. Settle into it now. I'll tell you what, I'm feeling it too, so you're not alone out there. Ah. Don't panic if the legs burn. Just keep pushing. Your body sometimes protests when the intensity level changes a little bit. Just find that groove. Focus on the end point. Think of the positives. Once we've got through this one, only one set to go. This is the home straight. Keep the intensity though, keep the excitement. Up, one, keep pushing. Come up to halfway through this block. Don't let your focus drop. Keep it up. Keep on top of that gear. Give yourself little carrots to get through it. Minute and a half. Starting to think about that final effort. And final dash to the line. Your sprinter is on your wheel now. He's on your wheel, ready to be unleashed. Don't worry if it's hurting, it's supposed to. Under a minute to go now. So my heart rate is a bit down on what it was, around 169 compared to 175 before for this effort. So he's a touch below. But now only a minute and a half to go when this one ends and it's all out, okay? Try and do this one in the drops if you can, as if you're sprinting, and just go to a minute and the last 30 seconds, just hold on with whatever you've got. Okay, here we go. Come up to 20 seconds until that last lead out, that last effort to deliver your sprinter. All right, here we go. I'm gonna leave a 10 second countdown. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and pick it up. Up, 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 up. Minute and a half to go. Push, push, push. Up. Keep the gear running. Do not let up. Give it what you've got. Up, 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 up. Do not change down gear. Up. This is a max effort. Minute to go. Think of it as 30 seconds. And that last 30 seconds, just squeeze in what you've got left. Come on guys, keep it going. Stay with me. Ah. So tempted to change down the gear. But just stay in it now, even if you start to slog. Stay in that gear. 30 seconds to go. You'll be dying like me now. But just get to the end. Fifteen to go. Ten seconds. Last ten seconds. Three, two, one, and you're done. Ah, get your breath back. Easy gear. Three minutes, easy riding. One out of ten. Time to recover. Oh. 
Take a minute just to get your breath. How was that, guys? Oh, that one was a killer, wasn't it? Take me to any. <laughs> Good work. Good work, everyone. Following at home. Thanks for hanging in there. I think your heart rate will be close to your max in that yeah. minute and a half, isn't it? Because it's just like a prolonged sprint. Just ramp, ramping up, ramping up, and then you're just oh. past your limit and just holding on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So it is a killer session, but really is so effective and uh, maximises the time you have available. You just have 50 minutes or an hour available at the end of the day. This is just as hard as a three hour plus ride, in my opinion. Just keep thinking of all these uh, club chain gangs. Maybe I'll win the sprint this time if I uh, <laughs> incorporate some more of these sessions in. Yeah, this is perfect for that. If you have some evenings or early mornings available to jump on the trainer and get the session done. It's a brilliant one. Or even if you're just starting out and you just want to kind of get used to riding at different intensity levels, knowing where your max is and what's in between, it's a good one too because you're going from one out of 10, which we're doing now, all the way up to 10 out of 10, gradually increasing. So if you get it wrong, you know if you've gone too hard too early. Whew. But we have a minute to go of this final recovery section. And then it's the last one, the last interval. So we are the sprinter in this effort. We're on our, on our sprint train all the way to the line. And at the very end, 30 seconds, max sprint, out the saddle, all you've got. Keep getting the fluid in you if you can. I've got a spare bottle handy. Twenty-five seconds. All right, it's game time, people. Fifteen seconds. Start to focus again. Recovery time's over. Get in the gear, you're going to complete this four minute effort in. Then we're going straight into it. Four minutes, six out of ten effort. Three, two, one, and we're off. Pick it up. Settle into that pace straight away. The sweat will be pouring now. This is why you need to keep drinking early in the ride because you need to replace all those fluids before it's too late. Four minutes now, six out of ten. Comfortable cadence, good rhythm, aerobic pace. And start to think about that last sprint as well because remember we are the sprinter in this session. Nine minute effort with a 30 second max sprint at the end. So right now we're coming in 3K to go, four or 5K to go, depending on the terrain. Concentrating for that last sprint. So we've got to go through eight and a half minutes first. So quite, quite a difficult intensity level and sprint off the back of that. Only 30 seconds of work at the end there, but it's like squeezing an hour, an hour of your hardest ride into a short space of time. So keep the effort where it needs to be, but you just want to save that little bit of something for the end. When this finishes, we've got three minutes, just ramping it up a bit again, seven out of 10. The pace increasing, You're in a race, people are getting a bit more nervous, starting to throw a few elbows, starting to budge a bit. You have to do those little digs just to stay where you need to be. Manny, what sprinter would you be? In all of history, who would you, who would you have most liked to be? Oh, I think it would be Mario, Mario Cipollini. Oh, the boss. <laughs> I, I just love his flamboyance. 
You know, he <laughs> just did. be fitting with my character. <laughs> <laughs> he did what he wanted, didn't he? And the outrageous kits. <laughs> yeah, I do love the kit. <laughs> I think I'd, I'd like to be Mark Cavendish. But there's an obvious size difference, which makes it quite hard. <laughs> Emily, what about you in the women's peloton? Which sprinters did Ooh. you used to aspire to? Such a tough one, because there's so many strong sprinters out there. I mean, Lizzie Digan, of course, that's the person who I grew up, grew up um, watching, ra watching race at the uh, 2008 Olympics and 2012. Um, when she was as the arm said, and I think someone of her calibre, she's gone from more of like a sort of winning sprints at the end, and now she's gone um, into like the mountains, into the hills, which I think is sort of the way that women's road racing is progressing. Um, the courses are getting a lot, a lot harder, they're getting a lot longer. Um, but yeah, for sure, go with a fellow Brit. <laughs> also, Coming a mother in the middle of all that as well it's just yeah, pretty phenomenal. inspirational I think yeah I have no idea how she managed that <laughs> 15 seconds to go people and then we're ramping up 7 out of 10 3 minutes pace is increasing ok 5 4 3 2 1 up on gear pick it up ok Three minutes, efforts are getting shorter, slightly more intense. Getting closer to that finish line, close to the end of this session. This is it, you're inside 10 minutes to go in them. You finished it, you stay with me to the end, so do not give up. If you're hanging in there now, do not be tempted to stop. Keep it going. Three minutes. Just think about that, three minutes. Try to keep the cadence up if you can. You want to avoid slogging it out in a lower cadence. That will take a lot out of your strength towards the end of this block too. Manny, what sort of numbers do you do in a sprint? Uh, around 1,400. 1,400? Oh, wow. Yeah. Fast twitch muscles, that is a lot higher than me. I would struggle to get above 1,200. I was I getting just, close to my max, but you know, it's not about it's not about your max sprint. It's about you know your average over 20 seconds. <laughs> That's what wins you races. <laughs> yeah, positioning as well. This is a good session, I think, for like getting used to that lead out and the intensity it requires. So that if you do take on a race, you're used to that effort level and you have a bit more energy that you can devote to looking at what wheel to follow, staying out of trouble, getting in the right position. All those things cost energy. It's very um, easy to get excited and go too early in a sprint as well, isn't it? So you've got to sort of gauge how long is your sprint. If you can do 30 seconds and that's your highest peak, then you need to go with 30 seconds to go over the race. But if you've got like really short, sharp sprint, then you need to wait until the last 100 meters and come out of the slipstream then, yeah. so it's very tactical. Yeah, definitely. And some riders really benefit from using a lead-out train and getting that speed right up, and then they literally just have to hold the pace at the end. They hardly get out of the saddle. 40 seconds to go on this, though. Then we're moving to a minute and a half, eight out of 10. So in the previous effort, this was nine out of 10 on perceived effort. So it's a touchdown again, but you are. You're approaching Max here. Conversation, pretty much impossible, okay, when we go into this next one. I'll do my best to keep you motivated, though. We're going to up the energy here. One and a half minutes. This is it, coming into the end of a race. It's all on the line. Five, four, three, two, one, and pick it up. Minute and a half, give me what you've got. Last real tough part of this session. Do not let up, you've come this far, you can get to the end. Come on, eight out of 10. Don't let up, don't let up, 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 up. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Cadence high, keep it up, 
over 80 RPM. Do not drop below 80. If you're not sure what that is, stick to my rhythm, stick to my pace. I'm about 95 now. Engage your core, but relax your shoulders, relax your upper body. 45 seconds to go. And then we're finishing with 30 seconds all out. Out of the saddle, sprint, all you've got. Right, 30 seconds to go. Don't go too early. Got to time this run to perfection. Last kilometer of this race now. Coming up to 15 seconds to go. All right, you're approaching 500 meters to go in the race. 10 seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven. Then it's a massive sprint to the line. Three, two, one. Up, 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 go, 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 30 seconds. All you've got to the line. Up, 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 up. Keep it going. 10 seconds, come on. Uh, hold it. And the last one finish. Woo! And we're done. Took home the bacon. Yeah, did we win? You want a bacon sandwich? <laughs> Oh, good effort, everyone, though. Oh. Woo. I am spent. Oh, I lost my hat in that effort. It's back on the, back on the roadside. Oh, good effort, though, if you're following at home. Good effort. Manny, Morgan, Emily, Abby. Solid, solid effort. Yeah, thanks very much for that one. Two and a half minutes now, just spin the legs easy. Keep spinning them, don't be tempted to jump off now. I don't think I could have done that without your guidance, Connor. <laughs> you just get more out of yourself if you get mm. that adrenaline going and you, you G yourself up. Um, and you just got to make use of the time available. And give it your all, just rinse yourself. That's what these shorter sessions are about. And I hope you enjoyed following along at home. I hope you understood the lead out drills and got a little bit of an insight into how things might work at a racing team when they're preparing for these sprints and delivering some of the household names to the line. There's a bit more to it than what you see at the very, very end of the race. But this is, I love this session. It's a great session to really push yourself hard and ramp up that effort as you go along, increasing the duration. So. It's a good one to put in every week if you've got the time. See if you can, if you have a power meter, try and boost your numbers in that final sprint. See if you can improve as the weeks go on and track your progress. And if you did get really into that session and start making noises like me, then uh, you can tell your neighbours that I say sorry for you. <laughs> but you've got you to motivate yourself in whatever way you can. Minute and 10 seconds to go. Remember to keep drinking after this one. If you can, try and get a little snack in as well, because that's a hard session. So try and get some food into you within half an hour of finishing that one. If you have a shower, have one maybe before. If you're going to wait around a bit or just after the shower, get straight, straight into the kitchen and just get a little snack, a bit of yogurt, a bit of cereal, maybe banana. Just replace the lost energy, because that one does take it out of you. And remember... We've got plenty more training sessions on the channel, so if you are feeling fresh at the end of this one, why not give another one a go if you've got the time? Good luck if you are doing that. It might be a bit of an ask, but sometimes you've got to find your limits. Okay, 20 seconds this one wants to go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for joining us, Manny, Emily, Abby, Morgan. See you all on the next... <laughs> See you on the next session. I'm going to go and find my cap. I don't know where it's gone. So. <laughs>
<laughs> That's what I'm about to do. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> uh.